Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 7. So in the previous video we started this too. We didn't get too much done in this two itself, but unfortunately at the tail end of disc one we lost Aerith as a party member because Sephiroth unfortunately killed her. And in this video we're going to continue onward with our journey by going towards our next uh, plot point of interest, which is I believe Icicle Inn, but not, right now we're in Coral Valley Cave. Yes. So let's go ahead and get going. Uh, this place is somewhat confusing for me. Oh, I was probably supposed to go this way. This is the way that I want to go. Oh, I can't go there because I can't shimmy shimmy up the place. So never mind. It's all good. It's all good. Oh yeah, everyone has no materia coupled. So I can't use all, which is okay. Cause even though they don't have their strongest weapons on their own, they're still doing pretty good damage. Well, except for uh, Red. He actually have his, the comb from his father, which actually gets you, carry you through a lot through the game. Because even in the next area, the next weapon, oh crap, I didn't even read it. Don't even matter, cause gotta go left. Cause, oh, what was I about to say? Oh, the next area, I think the weapon that's off offered for red is not as strong as the weapon that we have currently on him. Hypo crown, that, I don't know if it's 100%, but it increases your manipulation rate. Other than that, um, it's really not, it's really not important. Right? Ooh, Mega Elixir. Those things are gonna be a godsend. Can I get down from right here? I can't, okay. I should be able to get that. I want that, I want that in my life. I need that in my life. It's like right there. You get it. How do I get that? Do I just keep going up from there or? Ooh, magic plus. Okay, let's just fast forward this. Do, 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 do. Okay. We gotta go down. It's probably something that I'm probably not gonna even use, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna get that thing. Left. Up. Oh, I actually may use that. It'll definitely be helpful for um, boss fights that uses lightning base attacks. Oh, hello. How you doing, buddy? You look friendly. Ow. I've never seen this thing before. It's pretty disrespectful, I will say. That's why you got killed with the counterattack. That's okay. Just shimmy on up. And let's get the crap out of here. Come on, Cloud. I feel bad for pretty much all of the party members because we're going to be an icicle in. And it's gonna be freezing. Power source is always good to have. What's over here? What is over here? Daylight. That's what's over here. Is this the. Okay. No, it's just the icicle in area. Okay. The area I'm thinking of, I think it's a little bit further down. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. It must die. I don't know why I keep thinking Sid has an umbrella. Okay, it's this way. I was about to say, now nah, we ain't got time to be walking around the area looking for this place. I gotta figure out where exactly, because it should be like an enemy skill somewhere around here from the Marlboro, which is a big green nasty staple in the final fantasy universe but i don't remember if it's in the icicle end area or if it's the Greya cliff area i'm kind of drawing a blank on that i'm gonna have to look that up off screen or you know in between videos um there we go i was about to say uh <laughs> where is it <laughs> oh disrespectful you done missed, Sid. And like Vincent, I'm gonna have to put you on punishment. Cause that's unacceptable. Yeah, I gotta swap out uh, Bar uh, Barrett. Red and Sid soon anyway for Barrett and Tifa, I believe. All right, but this is Icicle Land. Beautiful. And cold. This is the thumbnail. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> I had to get that thumbnail up in there. It's not much we can do here. But it is our next pl plot of interest. And I don't know why I thought that was a treasure chest. <laughs> wakey, wakey, granddad. We definitely need this for uh, Cloud. We definitely need this. We're gonna say bye bye to the rune blade, but it's okay. We got that rune armlet. Definitely dragon claw for Tifa and micro laser for Barrett. Uh, like I said, this isn't as good as the clip that we have on red now, so we're gonna leave that. And this as well. I think this one has more materia slots than what Yuffie has on now, but we're gonna pass on that. We're gonna pass on K Sith because we don't like K Sith. I, I don't like him. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to put Vincent in a party and see. Does he have a better gun? It's a possibility he doesn't. I just want to see. Da -da -da -da. Vincent, what do you have? You have the shotgun. Oh. Yeah, you can use that gun. All right. And while I'm in the menu, might as well add Tifa and Barrett. I am going to be using them pretty soon. Bolt armlet. We're not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to get this here ruin armlets and call it a day. Is it a risk? Yes. Yes, it is. But y'all know me. I'm with that double materia growth, baby. I need her to have... This is all the double stuff, right? Yeah. So this can go here. That can go there. And then Barry can get Sid's stuff. What does Vincent have? Is that enemy skill and Shiva? Oh, okay. Oh, dear God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Barry can have that stuff. Yeah, he can. Okay. Do, 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 do. But Vincent, that's the most advanced enemy skill, so we're gonna take that and take Shiva. And then range. Why does everybody not have an enemy skill on now? Oh, I know why. I know why. You don't need Bahamut. You don't need that. You don't need that. You do not need that. Oh, I need to equip. You can take Bahamut, though. You can take Bahamut, and you can take that enemy skill back, please, sir. 
Oh, the one with only one on it. Oh, lovely. Well, actually... Yeah, screw it. You can take it. You can take it. Uh, give me fire back. Put all. Where's all? No, that's not the one. Uh... Wait, is that the one that I had? It gotta be. That's the master one. That's what I really want. Master one on restore. Yes. Lightning, you don't need to be right there. Give me that second all. Okay. We're in business. All right. I forgot exactly why we need Bear and Tifa in the party. Uh-oh. Can we have the snowboard? It looks pretty cool. Okay. It looked like something Zell would ride for Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame that they wouldn't let you use that little Z-board that Zell would get. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> we need that. Well, we need these items, but that's not what I was trying to go for. I'm trying to go for the map. Oh my gosh. Look at the map. And this map will be helpful in, in massive quotations for the area coming up. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, trust me, I already did. <laughs> yes, the nerve, the absolute nerve. Oh, Lord. I think that's where the next enemy skill area is at. Where that stupid Marlboro is at. I'm not looking forward to fighting it. Cloud would be fine, but the other two party members, dear God. They're going to be screwed. Cloud's going to be fine because he has a ribbon. Is this the end? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, in Legend of Dragoon, it's star pieces inside those the fire. So yeah, I can't help but to inspect it. Which reminds me, I have to pick that back up. Right before I had ended my old channel, because I thought I was just going to permanently be done with YouTube. I was doing Legend of, the, uh, Legend of Dragoon. That and Daxter, those were the last two games I was doing before I ended my old channel. I miss my old channel. I should have just took a break. Oh, this place. This place is completely optional. But if you come here, you get to learn some backstory, I believe. I believe this is the area. Now, if this woman looks familiar, she should. Because she is the woman that appeared in 
Elmira's flashback. Well, this is Aerith's mother. Now, I believe in my first couple of playthroughs of this game back when I was younger, I actually, I actually missed this place. It wasn't until I became that I was an adult that I've discovered this area. Now, I'm a huge fan of fan fiction. And a couple of fan fictions that I've read on based on the Final Fantasy VII universe had referenced this these couple of scenes. And I always wonder, I was like, wow, these are really detailed. These, these really happen in the game. I mean, of course the, the author would put their own, you know, dialogue, like their own little spiff or spin to their writing or whatever. But generally they would get the scene from this scene of the game. And I was always wondering like, did this really happen in the scene? So when I went to go, when I bought this game on the PS4 and I was going for the platinum trophy, like actually starting the game from beginning to end because Final Fantasy VII was just one of those games where I would just pick up and I'll get a good stride. And then for whatever reason, I'll just put it down. I don't know if it was because Sephiroth intimidated me as the final boss or what, but I just never finished the game. So when I finally did it, I actually found this area and I said, oh, this makes sense. It makes sense now. But this isn't required in the slot in the slightest to progress the story. This is just to give you some more background information about Aerith and the Cetra. I believe I'm pronouncing that cor correctly. They say it in a remake, but I haven't played remake since it came out, so... Which is a shame because now it has, I have a PS5 and I need to play Intermention. There's so many games that I need to play on my P PS5. I, I still haven't even beaten Ratchet and Clank yet. <laughs> Which is a fun game, by the way. It's just so many games. And today is actually Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. This will be uploaded on Black Friday, so yay. That's unfortunate. Aww. And this guy that she's talking to is very important as well. Yes, let's play. So we're not going to be doing much in this video. We're just doing a lot of text heavy stuff today. Um, and we are going to get one more key item in this video. And then in the next video, we're going to actually progress with the story here. But I do want to show off this. Because not only does it give background on Aerith, but they also give background on other things in the game. Aww. Ah. Ah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So never it never got around to using it. Oh. And if that were to happen, then the weapons would come out. Oh, that sucks. They say the world moves in mysterious ways. Just beautiful long hair. I'm wait I can't wait to I know I keep bringing it up, but I can't wait to see her in a remake. <laughs> Aww. Aww. 
What if it's a boy? <laughs> oh yes, the guy, the professor, is Aerith's father. It's one more unfortunate thing. <laughs> Aww. The man's just probably excited. Uh, I guess we can kind of just say, yeah, a lot, a lot. Aww. Aww. My thing is, why isn't... I understand the professor, but why is Infalna name isn't popping up on her dialogue? Like, we know who she is. Oh dear. Please don't tell me that's Hojo. Oh yeah, that's Hojo. Yeah, that's Hojo. Yep, yep, yep. Without his hair. His long hair. Phone, not now. Ah, he's talking about Aerith. Of course. He was waiting for her to pop the kid out, and that's just so unfortunate. Like, Hojo doesn't view Aerith as a human being. He just view her as a specimen. I shouldn't be surprised considering it, that, yeah, I was about to spoil the game a little bit. Never mind, we'll, we'll get, get off into that later. Oh, poor Fauna. But that's his daughter and wife, you idiot. Oh, yeah, because that was already recorded, right? Though she didn't review the location, but still. So, Infalna came all the way from Icicle into Midgar. That is a hell of a travel. That woman probably just ran and ran and ran and didn't turn around. That is so unfortunate. Hey. Oh, okay, that's wonderful. Yeah, I should. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Nope. But we need a snowboard, so we can't do nothing about that right now. But I believe it was this house. Where the kid had hurt and fell. Can we take that snowboard, snowboard now? Should be able to... I think the cat has to move in order for me to actually get it. 
Okay, let's try... Talk to this guy again. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this stupid fight. I like how the dog is just barking. Oh, really? Elena, you don't want these problems, okay? <laughs> ah, screw you, boss. Oh, Lord. You're so ready to bone your boss that you can't freaking see the truth. So you gonna attack us or what? We got stuff to do. I'm trying to get this here snowboard, okay? Tifa, handle her. Tifa, handle her. I pressed the left button so late though. That's the hilarious part about that. <laughs> okay. So can I can I can I go get that snowboard now? Can I get that snowboard now? Hey, can I get that snowboard now? I can't get the snowboard right now. Well, I'm getting up there in time anyway, so in the next video, we're going to get that there snowboard. Oh, she's having the time of her life. We're going to get that there snowboard and go down this cliff and continue onward with our journey. So if you like Let's Plays or we can walk through some channel, please be sure to click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.